today we have a very interesting topic. Uh, please write down the topic. The name uh, of our today's topic is Periods of the Development of Life on Earth. Now, after uh, the name, please write down the, our lesson objectives. The first is what we need to do is to establish a system of knowledge uh, of students on the main outcomes of life in all eras uh, to teach students to correctly identify the causes and consequences of various evolutionary events uh, of the diversity of extinct species of living organisms uh, that existed in different epochs. Uh, second, our objectives is uh, to develop students uh, interest, which interested in the origin and uh, evolution of life on our planet. Skills and uh, logical thinking skills, and above all the analytical and creative sides. And the last one, our object is uh, to form a scientific worldview to convince students in the known ability or process of uh, organic evolution. So students, okay, now I'm going to give you some table which uh, explaining, which describe about the uh, about development uh, of Earth in geological uh, time. So, the first era is a uh, Adean era. As you know it, as you know it had been lasting from 4.5 billion year to uh, 3.5 billion year. Another name of this era is uh, the Walls of Ancient. No any organisms. Uh, second Second era in our geological development is the Archaean era. As you know, uh, it continued 6.5 billion till 2.5 billion years ago. The another name is the uh, oldest or just ancient. There is, no, there is still no any life organisms. So, next era, it was the Proterozoic era. As you know, which, which we uh, had lasted uh, Till 2.5 billion to 528 million years before. So, uh, in, a, in other words, we can call the, this period, uh, this era, the primary life. In that period, uh, in that period, we can notice the first organisms. Like uh, first organisms like uh, prokaryotic. So the next era is the Paleozoic era. As you know, it uh, it had been lasting till five. 28 million to uh, two, two, three, four million years before. Uh, we can call it uh, in other word like an ancient life. Where are appearance of first multicellular organisms. Notice the lower organisms. Uh, the, the fifth period is a Mesozoic era. Which had been lasted from two, three, four millions to 
68 million units. And as as you know, we can we can call this period in another word like a middle life. In this period, there are a lot of trees and animals. And the last one is the uh, Cenozoic eras. Which had been lasted from 68 million till nowadays. And as you know, all biodiversity in this period formated all biodiversity organisms which habitated in, on the surface of our Earth. So, okay guys, now uh, can we know as a process of historical development of the uh, organic world? How to prove the uh, fact of evolution in general? And what is the advantage of prokaryotic cells uh, among all the eukaryotic multicellular organisms? What is the biological significance uh, in the emergence of multicellular? So, what, what was the first ones and what was the first one animals? The most important reference uh, points in time are the fossil, fossilized remains of, of that living organisms is uh, gradually changing and in chasing the face of the planet in our geomechanical scale. Uh, the first reliable findings uh, being known from sediments with an uh, age of about 3.5 uh, billion years ago. The names of the period peri that periods uh, which reflect the most significant uh, results of the activity of organisms, uh, for example, the carbon of carbonifers period, coal as a remnant of the forest. Uh, for example, Cretaceous period, it's a sediments as the remains of the ancient rhizopods uh, that took the such like uh, calcium carbonate. Uh, all the name of the places where you first discovered the burial of organism characterized, uh, for example, like uh, the period of Permian or, or Jurassic. Uh, each era reflects a certain stage of the evolution of life on the planet and the diversity uh, of all living things which depend on the uh, specific time for the set of environmental uh, conditions. In Catarchaean it has been formed primordial soil, uh, which, surf which uh, covered all surface area on our planet, uh, mostly in the waters and the oceans uh, was co conservation process. The first single cell organisms have lived in an evolved and oxygen-free uh, environment that does not allow for an active metabolism and did not contribute to the acceleration of the pace of the NIJ evolution. The acceleration of the evolutionary process, the emergence of different, uh, the emergence of different life from associated with the emergence of the first uh, autotrophic photosynth photosynthetic organisms, uh, mostly aquatic and one air environmental for free of oxygen. The main outcome of the development in life is the archaean and, and proterozoic, but the emergence of photosynthetic uh, appearance nucleus in the cell uh, which gives for aerobic respiration for sexual reproduction and for creating multicellular. At the end of Proterozoic and uh, in the early Paleozoic our planet uh, in the water of oceans is likely to have lived sponges, mollusks, uh, coelentrates, flat and sticky worms, uh, echinoderms and arthropods and other uh, ancient animals. The main result of the development of life in the Paleozoic can access to land, um, plants and vertebrates. The first conqueror of the land among the multicellular plants were probably uh, Psyla fetus, uh, which among vertebrates animals uh, like ancient amphibians, 
for example, Stega cephalias. Over there in the Paleozoic, uh, we have the, some process which, which give evolution. They are highly developed organisms such as uh, plants and gymnosperms among reptiles, among reptile, reptile animals. The main outcome of the development of life in the Mesozoic uh, there are the conquest of the land by gymnosperms. Uh, it means uh, the appearance of flowering plants, biological progress and the existent, exist, existence of dinosaurs, uh, the appearance of the uh, new types of birds and mammals. Biological progress of this group of organisms explained by the appearance uh, of the of aromorphosis. Qu quantity increase, they change in the struggle for existence. Okay, students. Now I'm going to give you to divide you into three groups and give you some tasks uh, with with our topics with considered our topics. And firstly, please make a group. Uh, this part, first group, second group, middle part, and the other students uh, will be a third part. And your task is for first group. It will be uh, describe, give a full response for. Uh, sorry, this is second part, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Paleozoic. Paleozoic, yeah. Your, your, your task is a Paleozoic. You should uh, describe all Paleozoic errors with, with including with all periods uh, and will uh, do different organisms uh, in these periods. Uh, your task is a uh, Mesozoic. Now, Oh, sorry, yeah, you are right. Uh, your task is a uh, Kainozoyas. And your task is Mesozoy. Yeah, please uh, make a group, come together, and now you are given only five minutes. Yeah, you can use you can use your laptop. What fonts? Fonts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Any fonts. You can just create some some Yeah, some Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
Okay, uh, firstly I want to say that Palazzo era uh, was started 6 million years ago. And Palazzo era has 6 periods. Six periods. Uh, first, first period is uh, Cambrian, which uh, consists from uh, Strelobits, uh, Astropods, Mollusks and uh, other ocean plants. Second period is Ordovian period and there are, was uh, plants, sweet uh, corals. Uh, the third period is uh, Silurian and uh, in this period uh, were, uh, there were fish, uh, vascular plants and scorpions. The vein and Fourth of the periods is the Devanian period, and the Devanian period consists of insects, uh, shark, crabs, and there was werewolves. Uh, the fifth one is a carbon, the appearance of gymnosperms, and also the diversity of amphibians like a, like a stegophilia. Uh, then we have also amphibians. Uh, the sixth one is uh, uh, Permian. In the Permian, we have a uh, gymnosperms begin to displace. Uh, also, reptilians displace to amphibians. Very good. And uh, on our post, you can see some uh, animals which uh, will consist uh, in this paleozoa area. Okay, very good. Uh, so, okay, how do you think? How long it lasted uh, in a whole paleozoa era? In a total, two two hundred millions or maybe five hundred millions. How do you think? Five hundred millions. Yes. And millions. your answer is five hundred yes. millions. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So okay, uh, big sense thanks for first group. It's very interesting, uh, very good description about Paleozoa. Next group is a uh, uh, second group. Your task was uh, about Mesozoa. Please come to the club and give your presentation. Uh, okay, uh, we will describe you Mesozoa era that um, goes after uh, Paleozoa. So, firstly, we want to tell that uh, Mesozoic divides to three parts and first is Triassic. Uh, Triassic uh, period is the uh, first period of uh, Mesozoic and uh, this period was continued uh, about 199 million years ago and uh, the main features is um, a lot of animals, a lot of plants was extinct and uh, um, the dry, uh, ocean uh, features was go to the land, to dry land uh, and the reptiles returned to the ocean Okay, so, good. Uh, next period is Jurassic. Uh, uh, it's this period occurred around um, 145 million uh, years ago, and so uh, in this time, um, warmer uh, global temperature uh, tells uh, about uh, occurring dinosaurs. In that time, that was dominant um, animals uh, in this period. So. Um, but um, with this dominant um, uh, species, uh, also was early mammals that um, was conquered with um, dinosaurs. However, about um, plants, um, plants from low-growing uh, plants um, rise to high plants. Yes, and the last one is the Cretaceous period, and the Cretaceous period is known for. Uh, then, uh, for this massive extinction that happened uh, and it uh, occurred uh, between uh, 145 and 65.5 million years ago. So uh, the main future is uh, most of the land was underwater, so there was many marine reptiles, and uh, but uh, dinosaurs still dominated the uh, land. Also. Uh, it's also called the Cretaceous Pelagic uh, period extinction, as it happened uh, in this uh, period because uh, it marks the boundary between uh, Mesozoic and uh, Pelagic. Uh, to sum up our presentation, the Mesozoic 
uh, era was continued for about about 286 uh, years, and uh, it was um, a high uh, evolution of high level of evolution uh, animals and the ocean planet. Okay, very good. And how do you think? Uh, what was the main creature? What were the main creature in the Jurassic periods? Dinosaurs. It was a big dinosaurs. Can you give some species of dinosaurs? What was the most? T Rex and Brontosaurus, Cephalosaurus, and others. Okay. okay. Any question? No question. Okay. Thank you very much. Very good presentation. And now, and now we have the last group. Please, your task was kinds of errors. Okay, let's do some description about kinds of So, you are ready? Yes. We are ready. Please, take it. Take it, take it. Okay. Okay. So, let's start. Okay. So, our era is the Kinozoid. And uh, this era was uh, starting from six, uh, six to six million years ago. and. Uh, it divides into three uh, general periods. The so first period is uh, Pelagian. Pelagian uh, began uh, in 66 million years ago and uh, finished at 23 million years ago. So in Pelagian uh, period, uh, its mammals are developing. So, uh, for example, uh, elephants, tigers, bears, monkeys, and others. Our second one is Neogen period. In this period, we have emergence of birds and fish. Also, have a development of uh, plants like alga, underwater plants, and uh, we have development of fish like dolphins, kids, uh, whales, and also some of the fish like yes. Good. And so the third period is the anthropogenic. And there was a development of the human activities and homo sapiens. As you can see, there are the people which are the more developed than others, like and not like in Mesozoic or Paleozoic. Yes. Really so, and we want to say that at this period there was the dividing um, the earth, the ground into the continents, and the developing of tectonic plates. Okay, so very good. So, some question, please. Yeah. If you have a question. Uh, is this uh, era last till now? Uh, Lasting till now? This yes. era? Or is there now some uh, other era? No. Uh, no, it's. Uh, in fact, uh, right that uh, now it's a period of kind of. Uh, it's kind of the area. For example, uh, kind of the, uh, was began uh, 66 billion years ago and continued to now. Yes. So, but now we have another period, not like this. There are maybe the fourth period uh, of devel developing Kinesia era. Okay. Thank you very, very good. Thank you too. Very amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, students. Uh, you done a good, very good presentation. Now what we have, we have just to make a comparison. Uh, with your PowerPoint, with your works, with a uh, PowerPoint presentation, and you should make notices between your works and our presentation. Let's do watch it. So the history of the Earth, as you know, there are six eras. The first is Hadean era, which uh, described like it was an ancient. Second one is Archean era. 
uh, another name is the oldest, and the third one is the Proterozoic era, all the primary life. Uh, the last two we can conclude in a one like a one cryptozoic or hidden life because there is no any appearance of life uh, organisms. The next one is a Paleozoic era, ancient life, Mesozoic era, middle life, and the Kinozoic era, in new life. All this the last three, uh, which can, can consist of Elon Phanerozoic, it means a clear one. So, Hadean uh, era, as you see, there is no living organisms. Archean era, uh, what process occurred in these eras? The first occurrence prokaryotes, like a bacteria and cyanobacterium, uh, the advent of the photosynthesis and the ozone layer, and the prokaryotes on land. In the Proterozoic era, we have the emergence of eukaryotes, like a single cell, plants and animals, lower fungi. Uh, the emergence of multicellular plants, like uh, algae. The emergence of multicellular animals, like a coil and terapes. Uh, the heyday of jellyfish, the appearance of the sponges and worms. Uh, so, next one is the Paleozoic eras, which included six uh, periods Cambrian, Ordovician, Silurian, Devonian, Tarbon, and Permian. In the Cambrian periods, as you know, there are occurred a lot of emergence of mollusks and the first arthropods like a trilobites. Next period is the Ordovician. There are emergence plants and on land like the first plants Psilophytes, uh, the appearance of cephalopods and gastropods, the appearance of the first chordatas. Next period is the Silurian. What occurred what process occurred uh, in this uh, period? First, the appearance of ferns, the heyday of cephalopods and arthropods, the appearance of echinoderms and armored fish, uh, and the arachnid on the lands. Next period is Devonian. Uh, as you see, the appearance of tree ferns and first flightless insects on land. Next one is the carbon periods. Which process are occurred? The first the appearance of gymnosperms, like this, the emergence of winged insects, giant winged insects like this, the diversity of amphibians, like stegocephalias, and the appearance of reptiles. So the last periods of Paleozoic is a Permian, uh, when appearance uh, gymnosperms begin. Uh, to displace ferns and reptiles displace amphibians. Next era, as you see, is a Mesozoic, which included three periods Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. As you know, in the Triassic periods, we have extinction of tree ferns, gymnosperms, diversity, the heyday of reptiles like the crocodiles, turtles, and dinosaurs the appearance of egg-like mammals. In the Jurassic period, you have the dominance of gymnosperms and reptiles uh, and the occurrence of marsupials and placental mammals. And in the Cretaceous period, we have the emergence of angiosperms, the appearance of these birds, the extinction of the dinosaurs. And the new new life uh, periods, which include Paleogen, Neogen, and Anthropogen. So, what happened in the Paleogen periods? The emergence of the modern groups of mammals, a variety of angiosperms. As you know, in Neogen we have formation of modern groups of mammals and the appearance of great apes. And the last period uh, of Cenozoic era is the Anthropogen, where uh, the appearance of a person and the four global glaciations. Please take it, take it, take it. Да,
Okay, students, who wants to make some conclusion? Lira, Asiel, and Murat, please. Asiel. So, today's lesson was very interesting. We have learned a lot about past of Earth, what kind of animals and plants uh, appeared in periods uh, and eras. For example, you know, we knew that Archaea um, era has a uh, bacteria appearance uh, so uh, in uh, Mesozoic uh, dinosaurs uh, and um, different um, kinds of little mammals also appeared in this um, time so uh, I really liked this lesson because uh, I uh, like know more about um, something uh, connected with past of Earth okay, very good. Um, so, today's lesson was really useful for us because we have learned uh, about the eras, the periods and uh, we learned that things that we didn't know before and uh, because of this lesson we uh, collaborated with our uh, group mates and we made a presentation, we presented and also we uh, didn't learn just about our theme. We have learned about how to work with team, how to present to audition. And um, so thank you very much for your interesting and very useful lesson. Okay, students, thank you very much. Our lesson is done. Thank you.